What's up, guys? Uh, it's office hour time, and while I'm waiting for students to come in and talk to me, I thought I'd go ahead and complete some videos for you. This is AP Calc uh, Review for Calc 2, and this is off of um, Final Review Part 13, so go ahead and check those out if you need to. Uh, here we're given the equation, as you own a car, its value is changing. It loses its value in some sort of differential equation manner. It says the uh, rate of change is directly proportional to the value. So directly proportional means that there's some k constant of proportionality that is impacting the value and then as a new value changes you either speed up your depreciation or you slow down your depreciation but there's going to be some change. So I'm setting up this differential equation dvdt uh, equals kv and now we're going to isolate the variables, integrate both sides, and then um, recognize that the value will always be positive because it's it's you know the essence of what the car is worth not that it's going to cost you extra money and that's going to be given a number figure and then we're going to continue solving it so we can get a general solution if we can get to a general solution then we can drop in those specifics and have the actual like solve this equation because now we know what the car is going to be worth and how much time it's going to take to get there uh, by the way the stuff in the middle those three lines in the middle like you should know that but you don't always have to demonstrate that so if you can go from dvdt kv to the general solution box like you've got it memorized i'm good with that uh, right now though we need to actually use the information so the information that's given is that the car is initially worth so v of zero uh, 15,600 and then one year later the car depreciates in value by some constant of proportionality to a value of 13,200 so our goal is to use kind of like a multi-system of equations to figure out not only k because that's dependent on the situation in the car but also to figure out um, the actual answer to the question how much time does it take for the car to be worth five thousand dollars so I'm walking you through some of the algebra you know dividing both sides by you know numbers that are multiplying the thing with the variable. Um, this is not an Algebra 1 or even really an Algebra 2 skill. This is pre-calc. You have to lin it, and then uh, that'll get you some sort of k-value. I didn't want to actually get the decimal value for that. I figured it's uh, more powerful to leave it as natural log of 33 over 39. You could reduce that. I, I didn't. Um, but the point being is that you're uh, trying to write the simplest problem that you possibly can. Uh, I say graph it or set V of T equal to 5,000 and solve. You know what? This is calculus. Do both. So I'm going to leave it to you to set that equation of 5,000. Use some of the tricks that we've talked about to get T by itself and get your answer. Uh, on to the next question. So here we go in this one. This is number five off of part 13. Uh, the area in the first quadrant under the function F of X is contained in the interval from A, some constant we don't know yet, to five, and that area equals 3, 000, or 300, I said 3,000, 300. And so the goal of this question is to determine um, what a value that is. It's kind of like a backwards approach to integrals that we haven't really done before, although we should have, it's there, it's right in front of us. The key thing with this one is that you have all this, the skills in front of you to integrate, find the, the indefinite integral of of f of x. And then using the fundamental theorem of calculus, that's the part that says um, evaluate at the boundaries, 5 and a, and you're left with an equation that has a involved. So solve for a. I'm going to let you figure that part out, but I want you to go ahead and give it a shot that you're going to look for the antiderivative of the function first, and then you're going to plug in a 5, and you're going to plug in an a, and all of that will be equal to 300, and so you just got to solve for a. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for doing some math with me. Uh, be sure to check out some of the other videos from the final prep reviews if you're stuck. If not, be ready for that final. Thanks for watching.